I'm criminal defense attorney Daniel Can, and I'll be talking about receiving stolen property. The charge of receiving stolen property falls under Penal Code Section 496. Receiving stolen property in California is defined as receiving, buying, selling, concealing, or withholding property that was obtained by way of theft or extortion, and the person who received the property knew that the property was stolen at the time that they received it. An example of receiving stolen property involving shoplifting would be someone goes to a store, uh, uh, shoplifts a pair of sunglasses, and then later that day she gives them to her boyfriend and she tells her boyfriend that, that she stole them. Uh, and the boyfriend um, accepts possession of them anyway. The boyfriend could be found guilty of receiving stolen property. Under Penal Code Section 496, uh, theft also includes embezzlement, false pretenses, or other tricks. One example of this would be uh, George represents that he is a rug cleaner and he offers free uh, pickup and delivery. And he comes to your house uh, and he picks up your rug. However, instead of cleaning it, he gives it to his friend Mike to sell at a swap meet. George could be found guilty of embezzlement and Mike could be found guilty of receiving stolen property. Now, as for extortion, property is considered taken by way of extortion if the property is taken somebody uh, with that person's consent, however, the consent was obtained by way of force or fear. So an example of this would be uh, Patty uh, takes a picture of Omar at a party while he's doing cocaine. And Patty threatens Omar that if, if Omar doesn't give her his watch, she'll post that picture on Facebook. So Omar, out of fear, gives Patty his watch. Patty has obtained Omar's watch by way of extortion. To possess property, you don't have to touch it or even hold it. Um, you possess property if you control it or have the right to control it. This is called constructive possession. Uh, an example of this would be uh, Greg lets Lewis store stolen stereo equipment uh, in his storage unit. Greg has the right to control his storage unit and everything in it, therefore Greg could be found guilty of receiving stolen property. Also, property could be possessed by more than one person at the same time. This is known as joint possession. So an example of this would be Margaret keeps stolen jewelry in a kitchen cabinet that she shares with two other roommates. Technically, the roommates would be in possession of that stolen jewelry because they have the right to control that cabinet in the kitchen. However, if the roommates uh, didn't know that the jewelry was stolen or didn't know that the jewelry was there in the first place, uh, they would not be considered in possession of stolen property. Some defenses to receiving stolen property would be, of course, you know, the property that you were in possession of just wasn't stolen, uh, or that you didn't know the property that you were in possession of was stolen. So say your friend steals an iPad and gives it to you to hold, but you didn't know it was stolen, you wouldn't be found guilty of receiving stolen property or you didn't know that you were in possession of the property in the first place. So an example of this would be uh, you're in a store and you happen to have a backpack on and somebody in that store um, takes a, a video game and slips it in your backpack without you knowing it. Uh, and that person uh, intends to steal that video ga game from you uh, once you leave the store. But even if you left the store with the, uh, with the property, you wouldn't be considered uh, guilty of receiving stolen property because you didn't know that you had it in the first place. Uh, one more example would be that you took the property but you intended to give it back. So your, your iPhone uh, dies and you pick up your friend's iPhone uh, uh, to text somebody and you, you mean to give it back, but you abs absent-mindedly took it with you. Uh, because you intended to give it back, uh, you couldn't be considered uh, in possession of stolen property for the purposes of 496. If the property was $950 or less, Penal Code Section 496, receiving stolen property, would be uh, charged as a misdemeanor and it would carry up to one year in jail. If the value of the property was above $950, it would be charged as a felony and it would carry up to three years in prison. So if you or someone you care about has been charged with receiving stolen property, give us a call at the Can California Defense Group and we'll discuss with you the various ways in which we might be able to have your charge uh, reduced or maybe even dismissed.